Hello everyone. Welcome to Miller's Language School. Although or though, what is the difference between although and though? A rule. Although and though mean in spite of. Although and though both mean in spite of something. Although and though are used as conjunctions. You use although or though to introduce a subordinate clause in which you mention something that contrasts with what you are saying in the main clause. For example, 1. Although there was a lot of noise in the flat, I fell asleep immediately. 2. Everyone enjoyed the trip to the final although we lost the match. 3. He can't play the piano, although he took lessons for years. Four. It wasn't my decision, though I think I agree with it. Five. Though it was rainy, we put on our jackets and went for a walk. The rule. Though, is not used in very formal English. Much more often in colloquial speech, though occurs at the end of a sentence and is translated, however, yet, nevertheless, nonetheless. In this case, it cannot be replaced by although. For example, 1. We didn't work much yesterday. We had a lot of fun, though. 2. She is known to be a bad-tempered person. She was very helpful, though. 3. It wasn't my decision, though I think I agree with it. The rule. Though, is sometimes an adverb. Although is never an adverb. For example, 1. Fortunately, though, this is a story with a happy ending. 2. For Michael, though, it was a busy year. The rule. You use though when you are making a statement that contrasts with what you have just said. You usually put though after the first phrase in the sentence. For example, 1. I have six hours at the airport between flights. I don't mind, though. 2. It's expensive. It's nice, though. The rule. You can put even in front of though for emphasis. For example, 1. I still feel hungry even though I had a big lunch. 2. Even though I earn a lot of money every month, I never seem to have any to spare. 3. She wore a coat, even though it was a very hot day. The rule. In conversation, you can also put though at the end of a sentence. For example, 1. I can't stay. I'll have a coffee though. 2. She told me it was true. I didn't believe her, though. That's it. That video is now complete. By the way, feel free to include it in the comments of this video. The expressions you hear must be listened to and repeated several times. If you like this video, click on like to support the channel.
I'll say see you soon for another video.